Hello children, welcome to another session of amazing world of science and I am your science teacher. So today uh, we are going to uh, learn, uh, continue uh, class 9 in CERT. So we already started the chapter second one is matter around us pure and we have already completed a few topics in it and now today we will uh, learn about the concentration of a solution and uh, earlier we had done a an, observe, uh, an activity where we learned that uh, groups A and groups B uh, had different shades of solutions. So from that what did you understand in a solution uh, the proportion of the solute and solvent is different okay it can vary okay. So depending on the amount of solute in a solution we can call it dilute solution concentrated or a saturated solution see remember if I told you already in the previous class that uh, what is a solution what is uh, solute what is solvent all that we learned already see if you uh, take some water dissolve some salt in it or salt or sugar whatever it is then salt or sugar is what we call the solute water is the solvent and the, uh, the mixture of sugar and uh, water together is what we call uh, a solution okay so the concentration of uh, if you put uh, more salt it will be more concentrated if the uh, uh, you know salt amount is less we call it dilute like that. Now uh, dilute and concentrate are comparative terms okay. So here we will do another activity like take uh, 50 ml of water uh, in two separate beakers in one beaker add salt and sugar or barium chloride in the second beaker whatever it is and you stir it continuously. And uh, till that point if you add more salt uh, it will not be dissolved. So then heat the uh, beaker and raise the temperature say about 5 degrees Celsius. After heating you again add uh, the solute. Now see if you heat it you can see that uh, more amount of salt and sugar can be dissolved in water. No, okay at the normal temperature or room temperature only up to a certain level of solute can dissolve in the solution. See at any particular temperature a solution which has dissolved as much of solute as it can or as it is capable of dissolving we call it saturated solution. See for example you are adding uh, you know salt continuously to water after a particular stage you know the salt will remain as such without getting dissolved. You know at that point we say that the solution is saturated ok. Now the amount of solute present in the saturated solution at temperature where you are adding it we call it solubility ok. Suppose if the amount of solute in a solution it is less than saturation then we call it unsaturated solution ok. See after you add only little bit of solute ok not up to the point where the solute is completely dissolved so little solute if you add means no. Uh, it has not reached that point of saturation level then we call it unsaturated solution. Suppose you take a saturated solution at a room temperature and cool slowly. Now from these activities what can you understand that different substances in given solvent. Solvent means water or kerosene or alcohol or whatever it is they have different solubilities at the same temperature. And what is meant by concentration of a solute solution? It is the amount of solute present in given amount of solution or the amount of solute dissolved in a given mass of or volume of solvent ok. So now you understand what is meant by concentration that is uh, how much amount of solute is present in given amount of solution or how much of solute dissolved in given amount of solvent that is what we call concentration that is amount of solute by amount of solution or amount of solute by amount of solvent any way it is correct you learn these formulas because it will be useful to do sums. Now so many various ways are there to express the concentration of a solution but we learn only two methods for you right now that is enough. So first one is mass by percentage of a solution is mass of solute by mass of solution into 100. Remember that that is the first method mass of solute by mass of solution into 100 or mass by volume percentage of solution. Here mass by mass percentage ok 
So here in the denominator we took mass of the solution but when it is mass by volume percent in the denominator we have to take the volume of the solution. Mass of solute by volume of solution into 100. Okay, now we will do a short sum and see a solution has 40 grams of common salt and 320 grams of water. Calculate the concentration in terms of mass by mass percentage of the solution. So you have to apply the first formula here. So what all are given in the question? Mass of the solute is given 40 gram. Then mass of the salt when water is given 320 gram. Now we know mass of solution is mass of solute plus mass of solvent. So 40 plus 320 which is 360 gram. Now you apply the formula mass by mass percentage of solution is mass of solute by mass of solution into 100. Like what is mass of solute? 40 divided by mass of solution is 360 then into 100. So cancel all the zeros. 4 into 9, 1 by 9, approximately you get 11.1%. Okay. So, in our next class, we will learn about the suspension and colloidal uh, solution. These are all very important topics for you to learn. And uh, do uh, learn your lessons daily because uh, that is why I am uploading only little by little every week. Uh, so that you can find time to learn and revise that portions then and there itself. So, without fail, you can write all these sums and formulas in your notebook and try to attempt the sums also given in the exercise based on the formula so that it will be very easy for you when it comes for the exam. You won't have because only if you know the basics of all these concepts uh, for the 10 standard and higher classes, you know, many uh, questions related to this topic will come. So, you should be thorough with uh, what is meant by solute, what is solution, what is solvent okay now which all formulas you are going to apply so everything you have to revise well and uh, if possible you make short notes uh, and um, you know as a just if you just write the important points and then it is very easy for you to remember the topic well so in our next class we will continue with the remaining uh, part of the lesson so those who have not subscribed to the channel please do uh, like uh, share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon because as soon as I upload the videos you will be getting the notifications immediately and those who haven't watched uh, the pre previous videos can go back and uh, uh, revise and learn uh, watch all those videos and uh, every week I will be uploading uh, uh, class 9 and uh, class 10 science uh, different lessons NCRT line to line videos don't uh, miss uh, any of the sessions and uh, uh, thanks for watching the video. We will soon meet again with another session.